Alright, so, MT boosting. M2 boosting is like momentum throttle boosting. And it's, uh, it's using momentum throttle optimally with boosting. So when you're going real, real fast, high speeds, you want to let go of A for less speed loss. And, uh, you only want to hold A while you, like, uh, above a certain point, you only want to hold A if you're boosting. Now, there's a cooldown period between boosts where, uh, one boost will end, and then, uh, a after one boost ends, it's like a cooldown period until you can boost again. And you wanna you wanna let go of A or MT during that period. Now this is different with each vehicle because each be each vehicle's boost will last like a different amount of time. As well as the cooldown I mean, is not so the same. Thing. So there's three visual cues and one audio cue you can use to like learn the rhythm. Uh, first is like a after you're boosting if above the MT point, which for Blue Falcon is like a uh, 12 30. So, uh, if you're gonna do it like one boost here and then going like, okay, so I'm going real fast and fuck, I'm not capturing this cursor. Just one, look at the speedo. It's down here. Want to look at that, and uh, you want to pay attention for when the when the numbers start to go down. You start to loop speed, and that's your that's the cue for like the just uh, ended. If if you just hold A and do that, you'll the numbers will start to go down really fast, and you want to sort of like turn a rhythm for letting go of A at that point. So that's when you let go of A, and uh, a visual cue for when you want to hit A again, you can boost again, is the energy bar up here. So the energy bar, as you use a boost, it'll scroll down and scroll down. And uh, when the boost is over, uh, it will stop. So, the moment it stops, you can boost again. So you want to get it, like, uh, the rhythm... To get the rhythm down, the energy bar will, uh... It'll just keep going down smoothly, and you won't notice it stop at all. And... That's how you'll know you have like the uh, the rhythm down fairly well. Uh, the third visual cue, which is like for most vehicles, it's not very good, but it's the color the color of the flames coming out of the jets. Blue Falcon's boosting its green, not boosting light blue, white sort of color. So when when it's uh, light when it's no longer green, you can. Uh, again. So, you need to be looking at the speedometer, the energy bar, in order to, like, uh, get the rhythm down for that. So, the, the audio, I use an audio cue, which is, like, the, the sound the boost makes. It's the noise here, just for a moment, too. So, the boost will, like, start at a low pitch and go, like, boom. And, uh, typically, right at the, right when it reaches the highest point, like, the, uh, the highest note, the highest tone, that's where you want to let go of A. And, by, like, you, you, uh, I, whenever I choose a new vehicle and I try to learn the new, like, uh, MT boosting rhythm, I'll, uh, I'll look at the speedometer and to let go of A. I'll look at the energy bar for when to hit, hit A and boost again. Uh, once I have that rhythm down, I'll sort of try to match it with the uh, the sound the boost noise makes, so, like the audio cue. That way I don't have to be looking at the speedometer and the energy bar uh, while I'm trying to like MT boost through turns and stuff. Now the sound 
like the sound the, that you'll your boost makes when you're using a, an energy boost is different from plate or a dash plate boost. Uh, dash plates, I think, are like exactly one half the length of a, a normal boost. Uh, so you could just try to like figure it out math-wise that it's like one half the length. But what I like to do for figuring out the rhythm of those, I'm using a new vehicle. To uh, hit the hit the uh, dash plate and then start mashing boost. And I'm paying attention to the sound the uh, noise is making when I'm going when I'm going through the boost plate. And uh, at whatever point I cut it off with the uh, energy boost, that's when you can. That's like that's where the dash plate boost ends. So I MT just a little bit before that, and boost. So, whenever I have a new vehicle, or if I just want to, like, confirm my, uh, the rhythm I have for T boosting is right, first thing I do is look at the speedometer, and I'm letting go of it. And I look at the energy bar for when to hit it again, and then I like uh, match the match that rhythm that I have from the visual cues, the audio cues. Of boosting. And that's MT boosting. Too well. See you.